YouTube fam, welcome back to another video. So you guys, I just finished getting ready and it is 7.55. That's right, it is 7.55 because we had another delay. I think the last vlog that I did um, during the workday was a delay. So yes, we have another delay and I'm about to take you outside to show you a seriously gorgeous winter wonderland. So today is a vlog day and I didn't even know what day I was going to vlog this week. But then when the snow happened, I was like, I have to. I have to vlog today. It's too pretty not to. Yesterday afternoon, it started to snow and I was really surprised we didn't get out early. I had kind of a hard time getting home. In fact, it took me an hour. It usually takes me 30 minutes. It was not fun. Saw a couple accidents even. Like the roads were not very good. But got home, got cozy, and then um, it continued to snow. We were supposed to only get one to three inches. I think we maybe we got three. We were like at the top of that scale, maybe four. We had a delay and I found out last night. Usually I'm excited. I'm like, yes, I can stay up a little later. I can get some more done. I have a delay tomorrow. Not last night. No, not last night. I was so stinking tired. So I went to bed, got a good night's rest. Did not get out of bed this morning until six. I think here I am ready to go. Have to make my lunch. Want to go check out the snow outside because it's beautiful. Um, I was going to do a little editing, but I don't know. I have to leave at 9. So I have an hour. So I don't know how much I'll get done. I might just kind of like read or something instead and edit my one of my videos tonight. Let's go outside, guys. Let's check out gorgeous winter wonderland. Remy is having a blast. He's watching the birds, which you can't see any right now, but he like chirps when the birds come don't you oh you're so handsome before we go outside i will quickly show you my outfit so i like in the winter to pair sweaters over your dresses i just think it's a cozy way to like mix it up um especially if you're getting bored of the same thing that you're wearing all the time throwing on a t-shirt or throwing on a sweatshirt or well Maybe not a sweatshirt, but throwing on a t-shirt, throwing on a sweater over top of a dress is really cute and it creates this kind of like skirt look versus your dress look plus your warmer. I have this crop, not quite crop, but it's not long by any means. And so I paired, and this is pretty like pinkish coral color. I love it. Or maybe like a burnt pink. I don't know, but I, I really enjoy the color. Um, and I put it over top of this dress. Okay, can you guys see that? Like the fabric is so pretty. It has the this floral with orange and red. And so I thought this color went really beautifully with it and I set you back down you're on my toaster right now so basically I just put it right over top and what I do is I tie it off that and then I will tuck it and what I usually then do is take a um, like a safety pin and just pin it up in there I don't have any right now I have some in my car oddly enough <laughs> so when I go to my car I'm gonna get one ready for a two-hour delay day two hour delay days are always the best because I always feel so well rested I'm like ready to go it's not dark when I'm driving to work which <sighs> is a good thing but let's go outside and check out the snow So it did just start snowing again, but it's beautiful. I didn't know it was supposed to keep snowing, but here we are, winter, winter wonderland. Like, can you get over this? It's gorgeous. There are parts of winter that I just absolutely adore. My hair is gonna be soaked if I don't go in soon, but I, it's beautiful. And yes, I am just out in my outfit, but oh well. <laughs> Even when the river stops Even when it all looks different yeah. Even if I grow up Even if something's missing Alright guys, this is what we have going on for lunch today. So I'm not usually a sandwich person. Um, I just feel like it takes too long in the morning. I'd rather like prep little baggies of things and grab and go like I'm definitely not like a snacky grab and go kind of person for lunch or I will meal prep like a bunch of different little containers that I can grab and go um but since it is a delay I did make a sandwich and that's what's wrapped in this tin foil we have like no containers unpacked yet we have nothing really unpacked yet so we're improvising but I did put on these roasted peppers from our garden that we canned they are so Yummy, you guys. So yummy. Then I have some veggies, my broccoli and carrots. I have 
two beef sticks. Tony got these from the market. They're really, really good. An apple, a yogurt, a little snacky munchy if I get, you know, just that craving for something like crunchy. And then as a backup, I usually bring oats. I actually have been having one of these every morning um, during homeroom, like my homeroom time. I just make it with my tea kettle for my water and pour it into a cup. And it's a nice little breakfast because I'm not super hungry when I'm getting ready in the morning. Like right now, yeah, it's almost 9 o'clock. I'm hungry. But normally this time it would be 6.30 and I'm not hungry yet. So I eat this when I get to work. But I might just bring it today as a backup. Um, I don't think I'll need it since it's July, but you know, I'll just have it. But these are really, really good. If you love oats, these are the better oats, 100 calories. Um, and I got this from Target, and I did not, and I did not see these at Walmart. So it might just be a Target thing, but they're really, really good. And it's the maple and brown sugar. Get my orange. Gotta get that vitamin C. You know, flu season. So. Love fruit, love veggies, love snackies. Whatever I don't eat, I just bring for the next day. And then my lunchbox is actually one that's like you freeze the whole thing. It has little, I don't know what you call it, freezer thingies inside of it. Packet got from Walmart. I didn't know it was like this actually when I bought it, um, that you put the whole stinking thing in the freezer. But it actually turns out I love it because it keeps my food longer keeps my food colder longer and I don't have to throw in anything like an ice pack or I don't know it's just it's easy and look how pretty this girl is look how pretty this girl is are you looking at the birdies the sun's coming out Dixie it's trying then you have this guy over here I swear I have two more cats they're just always hiding Shadows of the morning are crawling on my floor When I just want to lie here, nothing less, nothing more Hey guys, I'm on my phone, the camera right now, because I forgot my actual camera, but I is after work. We decided to take Dixie here for a walk, so say hi Tony. We are in Winter Wonderland again. We decided not to walk on the trail in case we would slip, but we are on a road that goes up the mountain, so very beautiful. And then after this, I think I am going to get the editing done. I did not get done this morning, um, and I will catch up with you guys tomorrow. But other than that, it's beautiful out here, and so we're gonna enjoy it. Sitting on the edge of my bed, waiting by the river, waiting by the river. I found a little piece of home. Good morning, guys. Last night I was seriously so teacher tired, which is why I just filmed our little walk which was much needed. So real life of a teacher, you get home and you are tired and that's just the case. And so um, I would say when I taught elementary, it was a lot worse than it is now, but I'm still tired, I'm very tired when I get home. Because you're just, you're so on all day and, and that can be exhausting. I'm heading to work now and it is frigid out this morning. Got up this morning, felt really good, felt really awake. I don't know what happened because like I, so late I feel like just time got away from me or something I don't I don't really know um, but I ended up like rushing out the door school yesterday went really well um, two hour delay days are always a little special because everyone's a little off like the teachers are off the students are off it's just you know the schedules off it's a different day yesterday my homeroom wanted to go outside into the courtyard that's connected to my room and take photos because the snow was so pretty it's really cute seeing them out there like taking photos and things and just kind of like they, they all get along so well I love my school I love my students they're just so sweet they're such good kids um, and so I, I love going to work I do I just I love I love my job um, this is one of the first Christmas breaks into like getting back into the flow where I didn't have anxiety and I wasn't like oh god I have to go back and, and there's nothing wrong with feeling that way because you've just been off of work of course it's natural to be like oh I don't want to go back but this was the first time in a very long time if ever that I was like yeah I don't want to go back but like oh well <laughs> like I don't mind it like it's whatever it's work but it's fun too all right guys so I'm gonna get going I'm almost 
your work and I will catch up with you later. Happy weekend everybody. We have officially made it to the weekend and I do have to say it was a really good week. It was an exhausting week though I think because of the schedule was just so off. It was our first full week back after winter break and yeah I know that sounds a little spoiled because I have a winter break as a teacher. It's nice. You need it. When you work with kids you just you just need that break. Always that week after Christmas and the new year it's a little hard to begin with. Then we had to two hour delays which throws things off a little bit but overall it was a very very good week i cannot complain about my job or my students honestly because they are seriously angels they're so well behaved they're so good they've been working really hard on their art projects i am very happy for a wrap of this video i did want to share with you how i use my apple watch in my classroom i use it all the time more than I ever thought that I would use an Apple Watch for teaching, but it has become such a really good tool for me, and so I figured I would share it with you guys. That way, if you have an Apple Watch, you can use these tips. If you don't have an Apple Watch, you know, maybe in the future you'll get one. I don't know. You don't need an Apple Watch to be a teacher by any means, but I do use it a lot and it does help me a lot. I made a list of I think like six to seven ways I really use it every single day. Now I'm sure there's way more ways out there that you could use it. These are just the things that I do just on my daily teaching routine. So first of all, this is my Apple Watch. It is the series, I think it's the series four. And I got it in gold. And I'm, I'm putting gold in quotes because they swear that it's gold. I bought it from Best Buy and everything on the box said it was gold. Apple said it's gold. But like, I swear. Now, now it's looking gold on camera but in person it looked rose gold it has a pink tone I don't know I don't mind it is what it is it came with this pinky gold strap to it that looks really nice with it right now I have on like a gold I'll, I'll take it off and I'll show you but it is this kind of like normal regular watch band material um and you put it on and just tighten it wherever you need to go that's similar to how this one is this one's actually velcro and it just goes right on and then i also have another watch band that i really love this one is my leather wrap one i get my watch bands from amazon that's where they're the cheapest don't get them from apple um i think walmart's starting to carry some and target but even so amazon's still cheaper okay so that is what the wrap looks like and it's really cute to dress it up i just like that you can dress it up dress it down it depends on what you're doing that day if i'm being active i'll switch the band out too so now let's get into the different like apps and things i actually use while i'm teaching all right so this is the watch face that i have on right now and you can get different ones um, this is just like the the time but they have really interesting ones like this one if I go like that it actually moves but I just actually like the simple one that has more information on it the one that you see in the center this is the calories that I have burned today and then the goal and then that's the minutes that I've exercised on my goal and then this is the hours that I've been on my feet and then also my goal so you can customize all of this though but that is what i have in the middle just to track my fitness stuff then i have the date up there and if you click that that is my calendar which is something that i do use for teaching because i can put in meetings and stuff like that on here and then it gives me the notification on my watch and then this is the time right there for me i use these two a lot just for daily stuff like when I have to fill out or sign a paper, I have to quick check the date and quick check the time for certain things too during the day. Um, and then this one is my workout. So like after school, I go hiking a lot with my husband and Dixie and so I want to track it and I can do that. Then this one is my reminders and so if you click that, you can schedule reminders. You can have reminders throughout the day, but you can have ones that are all the time. So for example, I have one for taking attendance. Every single day at 8 a.m. it alerts me to take attendance because I'm terrible at remembering to take attendance. So you can get stuff like that. Um, you can even talk to Siri and say, hey Siri, remind me on Monday to take attendance at 8.30 a.m. Here's your reminder. And there you go. So you can do anything like that. I do that a lot for if I have a meeting, if I know um, there's something that I have to grab for a student or there's a student who's leaving, there's a field trip that day, like whatever it is for school as a reminder, you can put it in there because it's just sometimes easier than writing it down in a planner. Like if you're out and about in the classroom, you can do it there, which again, if you're out and about running around your classroom and you're not near your phone, you're not near your desk, you can get your text messages on here. You can get your emails on here. I use that all the time. I cannot keep checking on my emails at school um, and getting on my computer. So this, it just comes right to my watch and no matter where I am, then I can know what's going on. And then these are all of my apps. You can zoom in and out. 
um, and kind of like navigate them that way. Another one that I use so much while teaching is Spotify. And you can do this like with any like music app. But when I'm walking around the classroom helping my students and I'm playing music, I can pause it, I can play it, I can even turn the volume up and down without having to go back to the speaker or my computer or anything like that. I can do it right from my watch. It's so helpful. When I taught elementary school, they were like, what the heck? Like, how is she doing that? <laughs> High schoolers understand it much better, but it was really funny to do this in the elementary level. Speaking of elementary, something that I used to use all the time that I don't really use too much anymore is the timer. If you are timing anything, small groups, um, if a student's in take a break is the one that honestly I used all the time. If a student was in take a break and they just needed to chill for a little bit, I would set a timer so that I could go over and check on them and then send them back to their group. But like I said, if you're doing small groups or something like that, if you're timing certain things to assess a student like timer is phenomenal there's also the stopwatch which you could use for assessments and stuff as well and that looks like this and you also have your alarm so like if you're a homeroom teacher at the elementary level i would use this a lot more let's say johnny has to leave and pack up at a certain time you can set an alarm and it's really helpful just to keep you on track with all the different things that we have to keep track of during the day as teachers and then the last thing that i use all the time well two things actually is on this little task bar this one is do not disturb if i'm in a meeting i use this so you can just turn on do not disturb you can turn on for an hour until the evening or until you leave a certain area i just usually do it for an hour if i have a meeting and then the other thing i use all the time is pinging my phone i have a tendency to use my phone to show my students a different like i don't know picture or something for drawing and i will leave it around the room forget where it is and then i have to ping it i can ping it right now so you can probably hear because i think my phone is sitting on the table So yeah, I use that all the time. I even use that at home all the time. I just, you know, have a tendency to leave my phone around. So that is a big, big help. And those are my tips and tricks for how I use my Apple Watch during the school day. It's basically a way to keep me organized. It's like my little assistant, honestly. And I use it a lot and it's really helpful. So I hope that helped you guys out. And I hoped you enjoyed getting a peek into my life as a teacher this week. Be sure to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I make lifestyle and teaching content. And I would love to have you guys join our little YouTube family on here. Also, please comment below. I love chatting with you guys. That's like probably one of my top favorite things about YouTube is the community aspect love love chatting with you love that relationship so definitely comment below and i will catch you guys in my next video bye